Hello YouTubies, this is The Scribe. Thanks for watching one of my YouTube videos. And today I'm going to make a video addressed to Chris Perillo. And he is a tech guru on the internet. And he makes a load of interesting videos for YouTube. And he has put a lot of effort into making videos. And I've always been subscribed to Chris Perillo since day one, more or less. I originally found his content off another channel, which has recently been closed down. And it's not thing to do with me but that's part of the story so I've known well I haven't known him but I've seen Chris Perot on the internet since 2006 before he even became big and I think I was one of the first couple hundred of subscribers so I've watched him grow to the big success he is today now I've got a question that I'd like to ask Chris Perot on his new channel which is for questions and answers it's something he's been doing quite recently because obviously he wants the content to be easily managed and he's getting help to do this because there's a lot of people posting videos to him and I don't think he has time to watch every single video so don't be you know overly aggravated or irritated if he doesn't watch yours it's just because these guys are very busy I mean he's got something like one nearly 200,000 subscribers so obviously he's got to be a busy man and not just that, but work commitments with technology. Anyway, let's get to the question. I've been going on in this video for quite a while, so let's get to the question now. My question would be, I upload a lot of videos on YouTube, and I've uploaded nearly 500 videos in total. Many of my videos are something like 100 odd megabytes of information. And if you work it all out, I have lots of gigabytes of information floating around in YouTube somewhere and my question would be where is all the information stored now I would say that it can't just be stored in cyberspace like you know in the air somewhere but technically it can actually be temporarily stored in the air because the thing I'm sending off now is by wireless connection so the information is being sent to the modem through wireless so obviously information can actually be sent on through the air but not that's not really my question my question would be how is all this information stored because I know people who have uploaded thousands of videos like you Chris and some people have uploaded videos with HD content and HD content takes up a lot of space so if you're up uploading like a gigabyte per video and you've uploaded thousands of videos then technically you are taking terabytes of information on YouTube so YouTube must have a very very large uh, system to handle all this information and it can't be like we imagine it to be because technically I must have a terabyte of information on YouTube itself and I am a very small YouTuber in comparison to certain people who make a lot of videos and I've seen people who haven't got a lot of subscribers at all we're talking about you know 20 odd and they've uploaded a lot of videos and all this information needs to go somewhere it needs to be stored and then it needs to be backed up so it doesn't get lost and probably backed up again so that doesn't go down because you can imagine if one of the YouTube databases went down one of those big tower blocks what they've got probably a whole building by the way and you know I can just imagine that one day the buildings would be similar to how well, in the past, or to have a computer it would take up a whole room, possibly a house size of a room. And I think that's probably how the storage space is taken. But sooner or later, it'll be much smaller, more condensed. But they must have a lot of terabytes going on at YouTube. They must really be going into a very, very large number with the amount of information they can hold and I can guess that they have some very large containers to hold all that information but I mean technically I've answered the question but I just really like to ask Chris Pillow about this question so he could address it it's not because I don't know how it's done I just want to ask him if he could make a video about how YouTube stores all the information we know what they store in a hard drive uh, but a hard drive, a simple hard drive wouldn't do it. A terabyte you will know, be used up like that. I've used terabytes of information up on my own computer. So you think all the people uploading those nearly a billion users who upload videos on YouTube, well, they don't all 
upload videos on YouTube but nearly a billion YouTubers many of which may upload simple videos now and again on YouTube it's got to take up a lot of space a lot of space so they're using storage spaces that I can't even put a name to I think the next one up from a terabyte is a petabyte or something weird like that so maybe somebody can correct me there anyway thank you for watching and uh, Chris if you do answer the question uh, even though I answered it myself sort of but not nowhere near as good as you will thanks for doing that too anyway see you later guys bye bye